You can put to uh, and passes or take passes away. Uh, yeah, the, but each one, and I don't understand the mathematics of this, but each one of these side swaps has to have either uh, one pass or three, or passes. three passes. Yeah, I understand Can't the math. Two. Yeah, if you have two passes, it's an even amount of balls. So I if see. you have an odd amount of balls, it okay. needs to be one pass, three pass. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. That makes sense. But uh, but you can. Uh, if you want to do uh, four two pass on three, you can. It's going to come out the same rhythm. Mm -hmm. I think. From a from a juggling point, I can see that he would think aesthetically that looks more interesting. Yeah. From a practical point of view, yeah. <laughs> I like the drawings that come out actually. Yeah, yeah. 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 So did you go and have tea with him? Tea with Christoph. Um, did you meet him for tea? No. Yeah, he no. no, he came over um, one morning yeah. uh -huh. with this juggler with friend of his. Ah, uh, with Jeff. No, hold on very long then. Yeah, that's working perfectly. <coughs> yeah, if I hold on very little, it's perfect. I get no double. So I have to... Faster means less. Yeah, faster seems more accurate. Yeah. How interesting. Nice, 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 nice. I wonder if we should put because we could already attempt this three notes. Um, just, just the shift. So, my suggestion would be to have a, a near metronome. Do one minute or thirty seconds of just playing Cascade. Yeah. Film <coughs> one where after thirty or after twenty seconds we do a four-two and shift two of the balls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And after forty seconds we shift. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe we do a minute and a half and shift every thirty seconds. Well, however you want to structure to do a short. Um, but the, the, the sound is a uh, is a much more sustained than when, than in September, right? Uh, yeah, so I mean, like uh, right now, actually, Luke is coming late, so he, he has uh, the whole like, okay. software environment. Because I think now the, the yeah. other, the mm -hmm. cannons, mm -hmm. I would like a more, um, a longer sound. <laughs> because sometimes the rhythm here is um, uh, 3 3 3 1, for example. 1 2 3 1 2 1 2 1 2 1. So you want the sound to continue for a while. Mm -hmm. Even if he's, uh, even if you're going faster than that, uh, you want the sound ding, 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 yeah, ding, yeah. ding, ding, mm -hmm. ding, ding, ding. Mm -hmm. it says it's going to be, and when with the five balls going at once, yeah. you get the, the, the counterpoint will be very lovely if, if you, if each ball is singing mm -hmm. uh, long notes. Mm -hmm. But this is, uh, uh, but the three three notes for for three jugglers, mm -hmm. it's a uh, but you just want to hear the tick, tick, tick. Okay, so I, I'll make the sound shorter then. Yeah. Should we, before you make the sound... No. Oh, for the tick, tick, right, yeah. 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 Because there'll be other issues which we need to address with yeah. this, yeah. which is what I was telling you earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Um, for the three notes for three jugglers, we're doing mostly threes and fours, yeah, and, yeah. and no ones. I but, think but there, for example, where they're all three in unison. A, uh, a key, so let's ah, hope nice. that. Uh, oh, cool! We can transfer. Oh, that's good. Did Jun can make the sound? Uh, pass that. Uh, yeah, and then yeah, we're on. And you zap. Yeah. <laughs> nice. You see? I don't have a beat, yeah, no. of course. No, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Uh, let's not worry about the beat. It's jazz, free jazz. <laughs> 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 nice. Got over my head already. <laughs> that baby thing. One set of five balls, and this mm -hmm. is the other set of five balls. Mm -hmm. So this B flat, F, C, C flat, E flat. Is that C flat? No, it's a B flat. B flat. Oh yeah, of course. Um, 
But the idea is uh, you, you get one cannon going with one group of balls. And then... And then two other people can get oh. the other cannon going. Actually, hearing and them side by side would be very interesting. Yeah, I think that's uh, the, the only way to sustain because one cannon uh, after two minutes is not interesting anymore. Mm-hmm. But if you get another cannon comes in on the other scale... And the other then, thing we can work out is how to go between one of these and another one of these. Of course, yeah. Which well, but it can just alternate. You, you do one cannon, and then the other comes overlaps, and then, then these people change yeah, to yeah. start the third cannon. And the we'll fourth just cannon. need to work out the changes because I yeah. think that they're not. Um, I think we can't go from all of these into all of these. I think no, some. No. Of, yeah. Uh, well, but but you you can stop. Yeah, then if we can stop. Yeah, I think each one, I think you, you start with one ball, and then and you add them in. all five, then and then you really end nice. with one ball, too. You drop them Actually, out. Actually, you know, we, we could probably try some of these, but uh, I should set them up on the computer. Let's see about this tempo. Then. I'm wondering if uh, adding the second ball is going to be the uh, right uh, moment. And then. <laughs> it sounds softer now, June. Sorry? It's softer now. Uh, because it's slow. And like it, the, you don't mind the octave higher? Like, uh, so, um, yeah, I think it's. That can be higher. With the five ball cannons, I, I would like the lower register and uh, more sustained. But uh, but these can be, if you can make it sound like a marimba, that's even better. Uh, you know what a marimba sounds like. Rather than like a really simple tone? Or, or, or no, you hear the pitch, but very sharp, like, uh, like a piece of wood. Uh, Well, listen to the uh, uh, the sound files that I give you. Oh, that's for the five ball cannons. That's not for the. Yeah. Is it the other scale or is it just transposed? No, this is the other scale. I don't like this as much. But the uh, the other sound is more. Um, Let's see the other we're looking for, but it's something that sustains because the rhythm, um, Luke, is uh, sometimes it's four one four one four one. So when it's just one ball doing that, yeah. you want to hear the long sound. Yeah. Dong. And that's actually then the other balls come in. They're all doing four one two, but. Uh, so um, that's a, a constant. Uh, that's the that's the theme. That's the rhythm. Yeah. For one of the cannons. Which one is the the the, the full one? Well, uh, you you, uh, you have to listen listen to just one ball at the beginning. Uh, let me play just because this one you can really hear it on this one. That's full one. That's one ball. So it's a five-note beat cycle, but the, the entrances are going to come every four beats. So they're never going to be in sync. Okay. One, one, two, one, 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 two, three, four, 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 Wait till the third one comes in, I will kind of surprise you.
So even with that simple two-note rhythm, yeah. it, it makes uh, interesting music from the, from the, by the yeah. time the all five voices are, uh, have ended. Okay. So, so technically, mm -hmm. um, in this piece there's a lot of uh, pauses. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. 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 So and technically, yeah. what we cannot deal with now is the double trigger like in this piece. Yeah, 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 that's... Uh, we I'm are just timing... So, I'm not, adjusting the D-Bounds time. What are, what are you adjusting? The, uh, the time that it's ignoring the triggers. Aha, uh -huh. so okay, okay. That. So, that's the first ball. I'm getting now, um, it is fascinating, let me just show you. So, on the 4 for one we were getting two silent notes earlier, and yeah. now we're getting only one silent note. So let me... Only one silent note. No, oh, it's it the same. It depends on which ball you use. If yes. You, if the, the D is now... Um, uh, which one is the D? The one with the one on it. Yeah. So, so let me see. Wait, continue doing that. Um, Could you continue yeah. doing that? So yeah, there, there we go. Yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it. Yeah, yeah but it's too sensitive. Yeah. Because Luke is now changing the bass. Yes. Oh, yeah. I see. Hey, Luke, come on now. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, Would you also change the threshold? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That feels good to me. Yeah. It seems like this is quite good. Yeah. Can you try oh, that for all now. three of the balls? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I have to be really consistent with my dwell plan. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> I forgot no. this. There's another uh, section here, section two. One juggler borrows a second G from one of the other jugglers and begins a new section with four balls. With the D, D, G, G, C, D, G, G, C, D. I'll remember that, Tom. Could you Trust me. Did you get <laughs> the other ones? Yeah. I think. <coughs> Right, this is right. Tom, Tom. So four for one, we should be getting... Um, uh, let's spend two minutes learning another pattern. Um, now, uh, Luke, we're going to go... Um, it's exactly the same rhythm, but we're going to go... Um, uh, you're going... Ta, ta, place, place. Ta, ta, place, place. Yeah. Ta, ta, place, place. Right, cool. Oh, uh, and when you give me this one, I go... Exactly, yes, exactly. I trigger you. And in fact, let's be super straight. Oh, wait a minute. So if we're going to work on the uh, five volcanoes, can we take a minute to try to get the, the Let's sounds? get this, because this just, just, we okay. need to... Oh, but this will help, because this will help us test the five volcano. Mm -hmm. um, uh, now, what you need to do is, oopsie, T, bluff. So this arrives, T, they arrive at the same time, T. So could you do the whole part? Uh, yeah, so you go... T buff boom. Ah. But so, actually, uh, mm -hmm. what I think, it, John is like quite uh, good at juggling. Yeah, just, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. So uh -huh. maybe. Come, John. It's going to work. They're going to be nice. Mm -hmm. Actually, it needs. It, it's going to need the moments where it has less balls, because I reckon yeah. that's only three, and already it sounds like a lot. So when we yeah. have five balls in, it's going to be. Yeah, it's two at once. Say again. Two, two at once. Yeah. Uh, you can you can see uh, in the scores. Can we try and go even slower? We can definitely try to go. Slower. Let's go slower. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 
it's broken. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Wee! <laughs> nah, 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 nah. <laughs> oh, no, it's <stress. laughs> You're doing great, actually. I think sometimes you go early on the on the one from this hand. Let me see. Let's count one. Sorry. That shouldn't be till one, one, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's early sometimes. But uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, two, three, four. That should be one. Oh, maybe maybe it's me making a mistake. Let, let me count the passes as one. Yes. Keep going. Now there's two more. Yeah. Well, there's reasons for that, but um, <laughs> let's do it again. Let's go. And. Sorry, I messed with you. <laughs> I messed with myself. Um, Again, good work. Is one of uh, mine off? Is one of yours off? Yeah. Ah, oh, that's why. That's interesting. They also wore a the idol this morning. What happened? Yeah, they did some setting. Sorry? What? The setting? It's better down here than up there. What do you mean? Yours, you're seeing no drops. Yeah, I had. Well, at least I, I saved myself on the drops. Should we go for it? I guess right. This morning it was almost 100%. Should we go for it? <laughs> nice, 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 nice. <laughs> cool, cool. Yeah. Um, so you have two sounding balls? Or three? I have three. But um, you have three sometimes also? sometimes I catch it really awkwardly and it doesn't it doesn't uh, ah, ring. I see. So like yeah, sometimes I'll like okay. catch it like that or something and it won't pop out. I didn't know you had six. So. Should we do uh -huh. is there anything else we need to do there just to show how two two sound together or No, how do we? I don't know which one is which. That's my um. Uh, all right. Well, let's see. Wait. Well, they have numbers, so. Um... Very good. <laughs> now we're out. Oh, we gotta do it again. <laughs> I need to remember the numbers. Wait. Yeah, cool. And then the little one. So I'm uh, green, yellow, red. Green, green, yellow, red. I'm green. green, red, yellow. Yeah, the different colors will make it easier. Yeah, we should synchronize our colors. So you're yellow, green, red. I'm green, yellow, red. Yeah. 
Green, yellow, red. Green, red, yellow. Good luck. <laughs> First, second. One, two, no. Three. The second is not good, John. And. <laughs> Shame. Oh, yeah. uh, it's going off, huh? Why don't you, one thing that'll be. But you have to start together. Oh, you have to be absolutely unison. Okay. Before you do the phasing. All right. Tell us when you think we're in unison then. Green, yellow. Twice his speed. Okay. And then, and then come back right back. So okay. Should we do it? Let's get it in this one. Oops. Oh, yeah, our colors are wrong. Sorry, it might have been me. Apologies. Fair enough. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Right. You were there, but then you kept accelerating. I go too fast. Instead of going, going back. What, me or him? Yeah. <laughs> uh, wait, 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 what was it? No, John's pretty. And. <laughs> now let's go again, let's go again from the beginning. I'll do a quicker accelerating out and accelerating back in. Okay. Taking two knots will make sure everything works.
<laughs> nice. You just change every once every yeah. Every yeah, we'll do one of those, yeah. Shall I start with that? No, let's go for the long sequence first. I'm just going to jam it. I'll Well, um, my name is Tom Johnson. I'm a composer, and uh, but I started meeting jugglers. My first juggler friend was a guy in Paris where I live named uh, Denis Pommier, and he gave me some uh, uh, a book and a, a very lovely uh, DVD of Sean Gandini and uh, explaining all about juggling. And so this was very closely related to the kind of um, melodies I was writing, rhythms that cross rhythms with each other. And I realized, that, hey, we can do the same thing with, uh, with um, jugglers. And um, so then I was in England, I was in London for some uh, lectures, and I uh, contacted Sean and I said, uh, um, could I come attend one of your rehearsals and meet you because I'm so interested in what you're doing. So he invited me over for a rehearsal and I met the jugglers and I, a few weeks later I sent him a score called Three Balls for Three Jugglers. Actually Tom was really fast, uh, so uh, I'm Sean Gandini and uh, I run a juggling group and bizarrely I was familiar with Tom's music before I met Tom, so when Tom sent an email saying that he wanted to uh, come and watch rehearsals it was a real treat and, uh, uh, and in a sense I always found Tom's music fascinating from a mathematical point of view similarly to what I find interested in, in juggling, which is the mathematical substructure of uh, juggling. That's our common language, yeah, it's mathematics. mathematics. Even though we're not yeah. mathematicians, yeah, it's but true, we, it's true. we sort hobby. of know how to count. Yeah. <laughs> we like to count. It's true. But, and, and actually, there's a, a, a fantastic uh, overlap. But um, uh, Tom has um, a marvelous uh, gift for finding what's interesting in the simple 
um, not to say that the simple is easy. On the contrary, I think sometimes the simple is complex. Yeah, so yeah. he's good at, at forcing us to, to re-examine... Yeah. I'm a minimalist. I, Minim just, I like, a minimalist, the, I like uh, getting things yeah. down to the bare minimum. We're sometimes minimalists, not always. But this uh, developed uh, uh, one day. Um, let's see. Well, I guess this is uh, when we met. It's time, and uh, which was well. That's another story because I just happened to come to Stein one day because I'd been asking every technician I knew, uh, how can you make uh, um, juggling balls that make a sound, and um, everybody at Earcom and uh, all these. Uh, you know, they're all co computer programmers now. They can do anything with a computer, but uh, to do a juggling ball is, is real time. It has to be something that's immediate. Actually, it's there's true no time to go to the computer. Yeah. Actually, Jonathan opened the door uh, to us here at time, and, and actually what at first seemed like a rather simple problem, which is how to make balls that make sound, has turned into a rather complex, oh, yeah. which we're not dealing with, and... The people so here, June and, June June and, and Luke, Luke are doing, are doing great that. work and, and but, accelerometers and all kinds of things that this neither is, Tom nor I know what... It's what, a typical uh, Stein project because they're not computer programmers here. They're guys that make yeah, gadgets the and they understand yeah. electronics yeah. and more practically oriented people. Anyway, he said, uh, but you know, um, what's really interesting, you should look at pre-shack uh, transforms. So what's a pre-shack transform? He says, well, when your two jugglers are together and you can throw the balls back and forth, there's a lot more possibilities. Yeah, what is it? Well, he gave me a website, and, and later I met uh, Christoph Preschak, and this led to uh, another piece, which is called Five Ball Cannons, and it's uh, all it involves the nine possible ways that you can make um, a cannon with five balls, two jugglers, in a period of four, and with no never throwing the ball higher than four beats. And actually, it's very interesting because the whole pressure transformation, which ironically Tom was talking about the first DVD we released, but the second DVD we released is all uh, perfectly symmetrical passing patterns for two or more jugglers. But Tom's looking at a subcategory of that, which is each object is doing exactly the same thing. So the cannons he's talking, they're actually perfect musical cannons. Because yes. in music, you can have cannons which aren't Each perfect. ball follows exactly the and, same and orbit from one juggler to the other. And they're, they're evenly spaced, aren't they? Yeah. Am I right in thinking that in music, you can have a cannon which is not evenly spaced? Uh, yeah, you can. Yeah. So, so they're, but, they're mathematically uh, quite beautiful. The, these are, it's all a period of 20, and a new ball starts every four beats. And so at the end of the 20-beat uh, 20 20 beat cycle, all five balls have, have um, started the same the sequence. Yeah. And the five balls are in a beautiful scale. Do you know? Do you remember what the scale is? Uh, no. But it's a, it's a nice there are two different scales. Two different scales. We, we want to have two sets of balls with uh, uh, two scales. Because uh, so, then if one cannon is going, then two other jugglers can start another cannon with the other five balls. If he gives me the five notes, I'll memorize them, and I, I don't need to write them down. <laughs> I'll know it straight away, no problem. Oh, yeah, but uh, jugglers uh, never need to write anything no, down. They just look at the balls. And <laughs> they, they... Uh. Okay, guys. Um, it would be really nice if uh, each of you could talk a little bit about your own personal practice. So, Tom, you talk a little bit about what your goals are when you're doing a composition. Mm. And, Sean, you talk about the types of uh, juggling arrangements that you and the Gandinis like to do. Mm -hmm. And then maybe um, discuss why you two were uh, such a good match for one another. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, in general, in my music, I'm using more and more mathematical processes because I think that I want music that uh, knows what it's doing, music that is following some kind of a logical necessity and uh, a kind of predictability too, usually. And uh, working in this way. Juggling is a is the next step that I have to take to to uh, to work out this kind of logic. And uh, for me, from juggling, I, I really like the idea that um, 20, 20, 30 years ago, juggling was very restricted to circuses and variety. It was a very exciting art form, but it was very limited in in its scope. And uh, our group and a couple of other groups have tried to open it, so it's a it's a wider vocabulary. And one of the things I really like is that juggling is a blank slate. So you can ask a theatre director or a composer or to do something with juggling. And what I really like about what Tom is doing with us is there are ideas that we wouldn't necessarily do our, on our own juggling. So I like the idea that it's coming. And I like his mathematical rigor. Yeah. Uh, and, and it's an aesthetic perspective, perhaps, that 
that, that is different from ours, and, and in a sense, I really like that. Oh, but, but we're, uh, we have a lot in common, too, because we're not interested in spectacle. You know, in circuses, the uh, juggling was basically about throwing as many things uh, as possible, as high as possible, for as long a time as possible, as long as you don't go over seven minutes, because that, that was the maximum in the, of a circus true. routine. Routine, you had to do a routine in the circus. So, but now the idea is, uh, you know, maybe you can make phrases, maybe you can make music, maybe you can make forms, maybe you can do even do a 20-minute piece, maybe you can do something that's almost a ballet that's going on for 30 or 40 minutes. Uh, there's a lot of possibilities, artistic possibilities, and you don't just have to throw as many plates as possible as high as possible in order to be uh, interesting. Uh, and now uh, jugglers, intelligent jugglers at least, are, are doing longer pieces and, and more subtle pieces, less spectacular. And, uh, and certainly from what Tom's saying, where Tom comes in at a marvelously perfect time uh, is that if we'd met Tom 20 years ago, we wouldn't have had the vocabulary to implement. For yeah, example, yeah. Tom was talking about the whole uh, pressure transformation of site swaps, which uh, it, essentially it's a mathematical procedure. 1999. Which is 1999, so it's, it's uh, just over a decade old. So if we'd met Tom over 10 years ago, we wouldn't have made yeah, the, wouldn't. The, the five canons. So, yeah. so, so in a way, it, it, there's also more and more, um, some of these pieces will be for three and four jugglers. So there's more and more piece, people who can read juggling like they would read a musical partition. Yeah, yeah. And that's certainly a recent development. Yeah. And, and one thing I can bring to juggling is a musical discipline. And uh, jugglers can all juggle three notes, but to, to make phrases out of that and find interesting rhythms and so forth, it's, uh, it's better if there's a composer who's been thinking about these things for years who can kind of put together the form and the different melodies. And Tom's been very good at fathoming the, um, the mathematics of juggling. <laughs> he shows me little things like, ah, that's clever. <laughs> um, could, could you two talk about the two pieces? Okay, explain the idea behind them and what's involved with each piece. Well, uh, explain how the three notes yeah, for so three the jugglers three, started. Three notes for three jugglers, which we, we, we premiered already, but the version that's going to be done here at this time is, is much more refined. And, um, but essentially, it's three notes. Which three notes are they, Tom? Uh, D, G, C. D, G, C. D, G, C, which uh, initially three jugglers juggled them in complete unison, on, just on a very, very even tempo. And the initial idea is really to just hear that. It's amazing how much there is just in those three notes in time with each other. And one by one, the jugglers uh, do a little sight swap transformation, which reverses the order of two of the notes. And that change, when you've heard the previous thing for about a minute, and you hear that change, it's quite um, an mm. oral sensation. And this all goes back to the first time I visited the rehearsal with the Gandinis. And uh, at that time, I, we still hadn't had the good idea to talk to Stein about getting uh, balls that made sound. And the only uh, uh, thing, materials that Sean had that seemed possible was some uh, plastic tubes that came in different sizes. So we chose uh, three plastic tubes and uh, three sets of three plastic tubes for, for the three jugglers. And uh, we did the piece, uh, this first uh, preliminary version. I wouldn't even say it's the same piece. It was a preliminary version uh, of the three notes for three jugglers. Now we have a real piece which is about twice as long and with real sounding balls and some musical value. And but going back to what Tom was saying about sensationalism in juggling and not, but what's strange to me was the piece which we did with Tom, which if we showed Tom's piece within a juggling context, say a juggling festival, it would appear fantastically minimal. And yet when we showed it in the context of a music, uh, a very nice evening of, of Tom's pieces, I, I felt like our piece was really... Uh, showy, show busy. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't it funny because yeah, yeah, yeah. it's definitely a minimal piece. I mean, taken and yet in the context of an evening of contemporary classical yeah. music, it well, was really the showy piece of the evening. Sure, juggling yeah. is, is so by so, definition yeah. so showy, so yeah. visual. Yeah. But now we should talk about the other piece, which is the Prishak uh, transformations. And I got to know uh, Christoph uh, Prishak and uh, said, "How many five ball cannons can you do with two jugglers?" And um, the period of 20, it, it turns out. Well, anyway, um, he, uh, I wasn't sure how many there were, but he helped me eliminate the, the ones that weren't true cannons and so forth. And we found there were nine, but uh, they only have, the nine cannons only have six different rhythms. So we're, we're hoping that we can get all six rhythms into the, this little collection of cannons. We, I'm not sure how that will work out.
Actually, it's uh, partly uncharted territory, much more so than the three notes for three jugglers. Oh, yeah. Um, because there's often two notes at the same time and, and kind of a constant shifting of which two notes. So, so I think it's going to be really interesting. And particularly when we canon some of those canons, uh, yeah, we, yeah. rather we layer some of the canons against each other. I think musically it's going to be Sounds are going to be different too, because the, with the three notes for three um, jugglers, it's basically ting, 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 ting very high uh, kind of um, mechanical sounds. But for the uh, the cannons, we want to, more sustaining sounds, lower register, and, and a five-note scale, so it's a little more rich uh, musical harmony, and it's going to have a different sound. Yeah, I think it'll be uh, a wider musical palette. palette. Yeah, palette. Yeah. Is that the right word? Yeah. <laughs> cool. Um, is there anything else you guys want to add? Um, just uh, we should talk a little bit about the amazing work they've done upstairs. Uh, and actually, what's been amazing is the work the technicians have done. Because when we, when we, the, the initial idea actually on paper seems really straightforward, but uh, there's all kinds of issues of too much sensitivity, not enough sensitivity, acceleration, friction. Um, and so there's been a constant process of refining. When we came, it was maybe four months ago. Yeah, and September. The, the, yeah, the balls were great, but we were getting a, a tremendous amount of double sounds because uh, this, uh, in juggling what's called the dwell time, the amount of uh, time a ball spends in the hand, and often just the motion of the hand was triggering it. So it was how to get rid of that extra triggering but keep an accurate triggering. And now we've come back, and yeah. I'd say it's 80% oh, it's, better. Oh, yeah. yeah. At, at that time, it was a, uh, sometimes the ball would fall in the hand, ding. Sometimes it would fall in the hand and... Nothing, yeah. Sometimes it would fall in the hand and ding, ding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you never so, knew so quite they've, sure. They've done amazing how work. It was, yeah. yeah, but they've gotten that to re quite refined. But at the same time, the balls are extremely versatile. So uh, I think that uh, I can imagine that other jugglers and other composers mm -hmm. uh, years from now will, will be finding other things to do with these balls. Or indeed, there'd be some interesting... We were chatting earlier that it'd be fun to do... There's a famous Ligeti piece for 100 metronomes. So it'd be fun to get 100 jugglers, each with their own MP3 player, with their own <laughs> metronome speed, and see what that sounds like. Probably a racket, but yeah. it's got to be done. <laughs> All right. Nice. Very nice. Thanks, guys. <coughs>